So in, in your experience, what is the most uh, common misconceptions about building AI products? <laughs> I love that question. There are so many. <laughs> so I think that um, a common misconception suggests that AI development is, is such a complex and uncertain research effort that it is practically impossible to set deadlines or work sprints. And uh, I haven't experienced that mindset myself early in my career. I and, and mentoring various teams since, I confidently state today that breaking down challenging research tasks into subtasks with due dates is not only feasible, but it's essential. Without a structured approach, the research process can diverge and lead to a loss of direction and progress and potentially derailing an entire project. So definitely, yes, you could break the vague research project into, into subtasks and, and set due dates. And, and I think another misconception from, from a different direction is um, that there, there is a belief that AI serves as a magical solution and, and it could be applicable to every problem, especially stakeholders that are unfamiliar with AI development. They can wrongly assume that successful approaches in, in specific domains or under controlled lab conditions can effortlessly be imported into real world with identical results, with, with no effort. And I often come across this misconception when advising startups that are at a scale-up phase, transitioning from a proof of concept or, or demo to one or, or one big client into a larger scale in, in real world conditions. And one company I remember, they had a very successful deployment of their model in a real store, one store. And, and then the client wished to scale to additional five. And the performance was not as good because overfitting and fine tuning to the one store could not hold true for all the five if they did not design for scale to begin with. So, you know, there is this misconception that you plug and play to scale up and it fails to account for crucial factors like um, variability of the real world conditions and and challenges of collecting clean, reliable data in the real world or, or the computational resources that are required in production, constraints for latency. So it's just crucial to recognize that every AI solution just involves a trade-off and one size fits all rarely holds true when you scale up. Yeah, um, I, I think that, that in general, startups learn as they go, uh, but maybe, um, in the case of AI uh, startup, uh, we have less examples to 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 set our expectations from, because many people who has been like part of the high tech industry, they've done a few products and they know more or less how to do it. But in that case, not many people have done several AI products and learned from the way, or they have like experience that they could get from from someone else, and then they fail and learn from failing and not from getting the information and knowledge from someone else. I think it's not only about the experience, it's just the eagerness to not miss out on opportunities that is mm. partly contributing to that. And, and I think another related um, misconception is the, the misguided tendency to develop numerous models, again, to, to seize opportunity, but without planning for the maintenance and support of already released ones. This is, I mean, unlike a piece of code that can maintain performance independently, AI models, they require ongoing attention and real world data evolves and trends change and the relevance of models fluctuates accordingly. So it's, it's really imperative to allocate time and resources for the continuous maintenance of every <laughs> released model throughout its full lifespan. And when yeah. AI models are involved, there is absolutely no set and forget. Uh, I can share an example of, of a classical outcome of, of you know, releasing AI model and just set and forget. Uh, years ago, as, as an AI developer at a new company, I came across a surprising statistic, uh, some feature that was once really popular in the company's portfolio had a huge decrease in demand. And I was curious as to why, so, so I dig deeper. I like doing that. <laughs> and I found out that the model now performs badly. And when debugging and looking deeper, it became clear that the data assumptions of the model no longer holds. And 
and the adjustment was super easy to implement and the performance was back as high as it was when the new feature was just released. So th this whole drop in demand could have been easily avoided. And now you had to gain the user's trust again with this feature. So it's with hard. AI, no set and forget. Yes, it definitely yeah. should vigilantly monitor production data to detect shift and they fight the trends as they emerge as early as possible and even implement automation to test those assumptions and streamline the process of identifying these changes in data patterns. So yeah, practice monitoring just enhances the adaptability of AI models of evolving circumstances and, and safeguards you against potential performance issues. Yeah, um, I, I, I think that it, this is a big difference than regular software that in the beginning you find all the bugs and afterwards, yeah, it's fine. It's deployed, stable. right? Yeah, so it's working. We don't need to take care of it. And you're just saying, okay, what, like the people would not change that much. What would be the difference afterwards? But on the other hand, we have more and more tools to monitor these models right now. And we didn't have that. We've done it manually in the past. So it's important to, to just take that into consideration. Exactly. 